Hey y'all, how are y'all doing today? Hey. They can't even see you. Peace on earth. Hey. Peace on earth and love and light to you. I am Gabrielle Ether. Welcome to my channel. So I thought I got that out of the view, but I guess it's it is still there. Leave that alone. Y'all remember when I had like my little I don't know if y'all remember because it was very short lived. My little plate, like I had, it was on one of those picker cards, but it broke, and I just don't want to throw it away, so I just leave it there because I just I'm just not going to throw it away. So we have some words for y'all. Okay, so this is transformation. This is lucky, and this is oh my gosh, what was this one? It was the p word. Um. Profound, profound, yep. Okay, so profound, lucky, transformation. Okay, so um, pick a word, in a word. We're going to see why you guys are led to, um, why you guys have been singing angel number 44. Or um, if there's any other number that might come out, then I'll let you guys know about that also. So have you guys chose your word yet? The first word that comes to you, if it's just like something about it, it might not even be a word that, that you use all the time. But you know, something about it just stands out to you. Pick that word and do not waver, okay? Let's go. Are y'all ready? Y'all are waiting on me, right? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so for those of you guys who are drawn to the word transformation, here are your cards. I'm going to show them to you first. So we have this card. Y'all know these cards are the Chocolate Oracle cards. Here's the box. Okay, so <laughs> I'm just moving my camera all out the way, <laughs> all out of the view. So we have that one, and they don't have any words on it. Oops. We have this one. So check. These are Treasure Vibes Oracle cards. Downtime. Oh, a lot of share a breath. Mentors and role models. Determination. Uh uh, you don't have any clothes on. Why did you take your clothes off? Go back. Concentration. So. First of all, I'm going to tell you guys a little bit about the number seven from what I've researched from what I've found. For one, it's a very spiritual number, and um, it, it can indicate that you're going into the right direction. If you ever just feel um, kind of like you don't know which direction to go and you're seeing a lot of sevens, it might indicate that you might be kind of going off path a little, a little bit. But if you're just not sure if you're going in the right direction, but you are making moves and going in a certain direction, then it could just be a confirmation that you're going in the right direction. And um, I do feel like for the majority of you guys, you are going in the right direction. However, I do have a message when it comes to that also. So, um... And seven is a very lucky number. And I know I discard these are um your deck is called transformation and you probably weren't led to the one that I actually named lucky, but sevens are a real lucky number. So I'm gonna read your cards and see what's going on here. So five five definitely a transformation going on with you guys, and I do feel like you guys are moving. You guys are moving, and when you do move, you're just kind of hesitant. You're like that type of person who moves, but kind of like really pays attention to where they're going. But you're moving, and you moving. When you do move, you move in the right direction because you're just so hesitant. Okay, spirit do want you to lead, lose some of that fear, lose some of that, um, you know, what ill all the time, and the, like a lot of control issues that you might have. But fives are the numbers for a change, and that's what I'm hearing when I'm seeing this, um, these fives here, the number four, that um, 
I'm hearing more so transformation, a more so of a um, personal transformation, and I think this is like it's spiritual. It, it seems like it's natural, like it really has something to do with your body and changes that you want to make with your body, maybe your health or something like that. I'm also hearing eyesight for some of you guys. Oh, I'm hearing hair also. So you guys might not feel like, that's what I'm saying. You guys might not feel like some of the physical things that you're trying to do right now might not be spiritual, but it's spiritual just because whatever you're finding out, I think it has something to do with something natural or something like that. And it can definitely help other people. So, and I think some of you guys might be passionate about that too. So maybe you guys are trying to like um, look up different herbal remedies or stuff. You know, certain things like that to do with your hair or your skin or, um, you know, just anything to do with health. I think it's something like that. And you, you know, this is your life work. This is, this is something that you that you're passionate about. And then you start, and then you stop, and you're wondering, well, hold on, you know, let me stop before I do something wrong, which is what you're supposed to be doing. It's good that you're like that, okay? It's good that you kind of like start and stop, and always listen for spirit and listen for directions. I feel like you guys just are a little bit, um, have a little bit more control than you need to have, you know, um. And also, Spirit is saying, for one, you're very intuitive. Intuitive. You're you're a highly intuitive person. That is great. Spirit is saying there are different ways that we talk to you. And for some of you guys, it's birds, okay? And for some of you guys, it's just music. It's through a song, you know, or through nature or whatever. And um, I think you're used, used to them coming to you, your team coming to you in a different way. But they're letting you know now. Um, and some of you guys probably have been saying, yeah, I've been seeing birds here lately. And, you know, wondering, is that a sign? It definitely has been a sign. And um, the thing is, you guys, Spirit is like... I think you guys really have a passion for other for for the body for health, and you need time for your health. Also, I'm looking at these threes. You're just working. Some of you guys are working too much. I was looking at the E before I even saw that elf, and even though it says full, I feel like you're more so going to empty. I think this is what you think you are because you're motivated and you're focused and you're passionate. You're very passionate, but I think you guys are doing things a little too much and you need to kind of slow it down, okay? So, um, I think one reason why you guys are seeing the sevens is because um, they are definitely can be an indication that you guys are going in the right direction because, like I said, you're always asking spirit, like, you stop before you feel like you're doing anything wrong, which is great and so you keep seeing these sevens move watch out you keep seeing these sevens just because that's one way that you're asking answers from your spiritual team and that's one way your spiritual team is talking to you and they're showing you right here through the mentors and role models card that your guys your spiritual team your guys are definitely talk, talking to you look on <laughs> you're definitely on you're definitely on it and eight minus one seven so that's definitely them saying that yeah we're talking to you when you show when we're showing you those sevens guys and girls and i just feel like this all these cards are saying the same thing share a bit breath and it's more like hey i read this card sometimes sometimes you guys i read this card is saying um spread a word or something like that this time i'm hearing share a breath more like take a break is what i'm hearing when it comes to this car because i feel like you've been doing this too much i think you've been putting a lot on yourself when it comes to your um your light work and well this thing that you're trying to um to, to do so definitely this is a root chakra card so get rooted look at this three again and um, with the other three cards with the downtime and the and the sound check card spirit is definitely saying this is you very passionate very determined but you need to slow down slow it down okay three three is the number okay three you probably seen threes a lot too and threes can be telling you guys that um for one 
it, I think you guys are kind of like very informative type of people. You do seek um, um, counsel from your spiritual team, like I've been saying. So they're showing you three. Sometimes they can be just an indication that your ascended masters are around and they're there to give you guidance and wisdom, which is great. But threes also can be a number of, you know, what threes are also the number of the divine trinity, your mind, body, and spirit. For one, I think you guys are very connected with your um with your physical body you really want to do things to change your body if it's not just for yourself it's for others but i think whatever you're doing though you're going too hard and you're kind of neglecting your body okay i say this this a lot like you guys are really doing what you're supposed to do kind of sounds like something that i'll do but i didn't pick this card this time <laughs> i didn't pick this group which is good because i'm tired of getting fussed out about the same thing all the time about me needing to sit down me needing to rest and stuff <laughs> and i've really been trying to do it and really been trying to listen to spirit and spirit is telling you guys the same thing i think you guys have heard that on a lot of readings like you need to rest you need time out for yourself like you're worried about other people you're caring about other people and the thing is you guys know Know the value of um of of rest that you understand the value of rest you understand the value of um downtime like when you're like when your cards actually said but you just you just have not been giving it to yourself because you have been like desperately just trying to it's not desperately you just like that you're very passionate okay and you guys like to with this concentration card here i'm just seeing like a research this is what you guys actually like to do okay and spirit is like yeah but you don't you don't have to do all that all the time the thing is spirit has said in your reading so far spirit has said that you guys call on them and you stop you know and ask them hold on you know before you make a bad decision so that's good so they're telling you yeah that's good and they want you to do more of that so to kind of recap you know that's what they're saying um and then they're saying that it's um other ways that they're gonna start speaking to you guys and then they're saying sometimes you go a little hard so tone it down cool it down <laughs> so um get you some rest sometimes so y'all i like to hear from you guys let me know down in the comment section how well this resonated with you if it didn't at all you know sometimes i, I talk to people say that and i still talk to people and i try to tell them you know something and that's why that's one reason why i like to hear from you guys so that's all y'all continue to come and grow with me and subscribe so we can become a part of each other's vibe and my son told me to change it to vibe and i like that so when i used to say tribe okay Bye, y'all. Bye. Okay, so for those of you guys who were drawn to the word lucky, here are your cards. But I wonder, are you guys hearing the same song that I'm hearing? I'm hearing that Britney Spears song, She's Lucky. She's a star, but she cried, cried, cried from a lonely heart thinking, if there's nothing missing in my life, then why do these tears cry? Come at night. Is it come at night or is it fall at night? <laughs> I like that song. Do y'all like that song? Let me know in the comments. So, before I get your cards out, that's what I'm hearing because I feel like you guys um are more luckier than you know i think for some of you guys you actually know you see the blessings around you you need to kind of more so count your blessings that are around you guys know i say blessings i don't say blessings you know so um you need to more so count your blessings around you because some of you guys probably feel like that well if i have this and if i have that or maybe you're listening to readings and you're like well if this is coming and if that is coming then why don't i feel like it I don't feel like it, Gabrielle, and I feel like you guys are justified. You guys know on this channel, I like to tell you guys when you are justified, when you support, when you have a right to feel like that, you have every right to be mad, to be frustrated because you're like, and I feel like that's what it really is for the majority of you. You probably hear readings or, you know, see confirmations. And you listen to your spiritual team saying, it's over. Your time is over. Your time is now. Here comes money. Here comes success. Here comes your twin flame. Here comes your soulmate. And you're like, well, 
well, how come I don't feel it? You know, how come I don't see it? You know, and I do think for some of you guys, it's slightly, it's slightly different. Some of you guys are saying, you know it. Like, you actually have these good things, but you just don't feel good inside. Like, you're still not happy. Let's see your cards. So, these these cards like this, y'all, these are the Chicole Oracle cards. They don't have words on it. You have that one. And I'm already getting the message. This one, yep. I'm already getting a message. You have these cards are the Trisha Vibe cards. Get a new story. Israel, put that card back. Back to basics. Every card that that's coming out is is pretty much confirming the message that I that I'm hearing. You're the balls. Sustenance with that seven. Okay, have you guys been drawn to um, one of my readings before and actually picked a deck where I tell you guys this is my favorite card in the deck, okay? I'll tell you guys why. And you have Spiritual Quest. I love when this card comes out because I like when certain cards come out because it just lets you know that, you know, Spirit is definitely listening to you and confirming the reading, confirming everything. And especially when my favorite card of the deck comes out. And we have like um, 70, I think 70 something cards in that deck. I don't know, 50 something, 70 some cards in that deck. And then my favorite card, card of the deck comes out. I just think that's, that's lucky. That's lucky. <laughs> so I have a message. First, there are some of you guys who do have a lot. You know you have a lot. You don't feel happy. You don't feel happy. And I'm going to tell you this is why you don't feel happy. Because there are some things in your life you don't want to quite let go of yet. Some things that you have not defeated that you were supposed to have already defeated. That's really all it is. I'm going to be honest with you guys, though. There have been... 17. Yeah, like, there has even been some wise counsel come to you guys and tell you guys you don't need to keep this in your life no more but you still keep it around and i feel like you know with this with this child that's listening to the bunny you know or supposed to be listening to something more wise sometimes you know maybe you just don't understand so maybe you just don't take it seriously you look at it like a toy you know or like no not the counselor that's supposed to be you know and and i feel like this is human this is the human in us sometimes we just don't take certain Certain people might be different, and sometimes we just don't take them seriously, you know. And so you haven't listened to the council when they actually told you, the wise council, when they actually told you to let this go. And so you guys know that you have a lot, but you are but you don't feel like it. And it's simply because you guys are kind of entrapped with this negative energy around you. And you don't know why this energy is around you. And it's because it's this thing that's in your life that's negative that you don't even want to see as negative but it's actually negative that's why we have this here that says get a new story get a new story this thing go back to basics go back to basics like these two right here they go together all of this do it's a reading you're the boss I mean I feel like you guys know what I'm about to say <laughs> I mean you're the boss you're the master of your ship the oh my gosh how does that go the master of the sea the captain of your sail look that up how does it go anyways you control your own life your own destiny you control the situation more than what you feel like you can some of you guys feel like i just don't want to hurt that person's feelings you know or some of you guys feel like you know i think some of you guys it's a relationship and you feel like um you really just don't want to let the person go you know it don't feel right but you just don't want to let the person go but the person is not for you the person is not for you this person's kind of taking away who you really are and who you who you are at at the core so spirit is like remember that give me those so where was I at? I had to stop. <laughs> My daughter was doing the most. And I try to do these readings when she's like sleep or when she's doing something. But 
yes, she's active tonight. This is not, you guys know who you are. You know that since you've been with a situation that kind of has you feeling like entangled or entrapped, that you're not really who you are. With this get a new story, just basically, this is basically telling you guys, look at this. It's, this says 41. This is a five here. There's time for change. Definitely time for change here. Okay, yeah. Definitely time for change. For you to start over. Go back to who you really are. You can change this. Even if you feel like you can't, you can change this. More than what you think you can. And get a new story. For those of you guys who know that you have a lot. And you're wondering why you're still happy. It's just this negative energy that's there. That's around you. You guys can get over that. Now, there are some of you guys that are wondering that that's, that, that's not your story. Your story is um, you've actually been going through some things. And you want to change. You don't feel lucky. You know, and you've been hearing people tell you that your change is coming. And your change is definitely coming. And I'm looking at, you're right on top of it. Look at this good looking ice cream here. You're right on top of the things that you want, the things that you really can have. You really are on top of it. You guys really have defeated some of those things that were hard, and your spiritual team is like, okay, now we're going to reward you for that. I think this is the opposite from what I was saying the first time. You guys have been listening to Wise Counsel, and you have been saying, okay, um, if this is what I need to do to get there, then I will do that. And you've been actually checking yourself, knowing that there's things that needs, that needs to be worked on. You've been doing it. You've got a new story. And spirit is like, this is your new beginning. It's time for a change. Four plus one, five. It's time for a change. And you're going to get it. I'm looking at this flower coming up right in front of this person. So spirit is like, we're going to give you good things. We're, we're about to give you something good. We're about to give you something new. It's going to be like a gift. Look at this tag. As if it's like it's a gift to this person. And your new beginning is definitely coming. And with this you the boss card here, I actually see some of you guys wondering when can you start this business or wondering when this new job is going to come. Now, this is more of, this is actually more of starting a business because this is you the boss. And some of you guys have been wondering when this, or, or you yeah, have some type of promotion, really. You just being on top of something. More so in an ownership position, though. Or at least a manage some type of management position. And spirit is like, this is definitely coming. Your spiritual team has been guiding you. They want you to know that they're there. They're with you. And if this this right here that you want to do this business, this business is going to be a success. Spirit is like, hold on. Hold on. You're actually more luckily lucky than you think, okay? Okay, so when people say, you guys, it's here, it's there, it's right here, it's right now, and then we get all excited, yeah, that's true, and sometimes it do be there, but since we have gone through so much, sometimes we get addicted through, but we get addicted to going through that a lot of new things come and we don't even notice it because we just start taking the hard route again, you know, and spirit is like, this is you. Or this will be you. Let me put it like that with this seven here. And that's why you've been seeing the number seven. Some of you guys have been seeing fives a lot too. And fours. Fours is, is, is very it's a very spiritual number. Is it and it can be go watch my four 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 video, guys. Four to four video. My number, my video for fours. And um because it's an indication that you're in, that you're where you're supposed to be, that you're divinely placed where you're supposed to be. And it could just be saying that you are, you know, this is the spiritual path that spirit has for you. And this business that you guys want, some of you guys want your own business. This is actually your light work. This is going to be spirit led. Look at here with this four here. I was just saying for us and I didn't even see this. So this was 40. 
this is actually spirit led. This is divinely led. You guys are gonna have the business that you want. I feel like I'm talking to a lot of entrepreneurs. You're gonna have that. And this right card, this card right here that I say is my favorite card in deck, it's because it's saying you're gonna have everything you ever wanted, ever needed, ever desired, every every thought, every passion that you have, anything that you ever wanted, ever desired, you're gonna have it all. You're gonna have it all. Y'all, let me know down in the comment section. I love to hear from you guys. Even when it don't resonate, I still try to help you guys a little bit. And I want to know. Like, I like to hear you guys' stories. And trust me, you guys, the feedback, the feedback is like, it's great for me. Because I need to know <laughs> what to do and what not to do. What's working and what's not working. And so, like I said, I really like hearing from you guys, though. So, you guys, that's all. Continue to come and grow with me, okay? We're all growing together all the time. Subscribe if you have it. And if you haven't, you might want to watch some more videos to see if you even want to become a part of my, of each other's tribe, like I would usually say. But my son told me to say, start saying, subscribe <laughs> so we can become a part of each other's vibe. Y'all tell me which one you like better. Bye. Hey y'all, um, that was wrong to the last one. I'll put in a time step what it is. I remember it's a P word and I don't even remember why. Maybe throughout the reading I'll remember the P word or why I had the P word. I guess it was just significant for some of you guys because I don't even remember the word. Like I always forget. Don't I always forget? Especially about the time I, I've been saying so many words you guys. And then sometimes I do so many readings. I forget the things that I name them. <laughs> so and then like sometimes I don't want to give them names because of that because I know I'm going to forget them I'm just bad with names I've always been bad with names so um but anyways let's go I'll show you guys the cards that came out this one these cards these are the Jacoli Oracle and they don't have any words on them this one, gosh, what was you guys' this word? This one, call on your runners. Accept the gifts of the universe. When they're upside down, you guys, I usually keep them upside down so I can um, read them like that. But um, sometimes spirit does let me turn them around. Achievement. Generosity. Okay, so your reading is very easy for me. Y'all, I always say, I'm, I, it's like I'm always happy. Spirit seems like they always leave the best for last. Because the last one's always so easier for me. <laughs> and um, at least down here I get a very clear message for you guys and why you are seeing the number seven first of all let me tell you guys this sevens are an indication that you are going it's, um, it's a spiritual number and it's an indication that you're going in the right direction it can sometimes indicate that you might be going in the wrong direction but I feel like when you see those sevens you kind of have to like examine where you're at in your life and then you'll kind of know you know and then it's a very lucky number also and I know you guys wasn't wasn't like drawn to the word lucky you probably was drawn to lucky too but it is a very lucky number and also means like anything it means like I read one definition that meant that like you had the mightiest touch you know anything you touch should be lucky in terms of gold so um and I think for you guys, I think you guys have some fear going on. There's some fear going on with you. I think spirit has to confirm a lot of things for you. I'm seeing it with this one. Things that you shouldn't even really be fearful about, but you do fear it. You just fear the unknown. You have a lot of good around you, a lot of success around you. You don't know it yet. You haven't seen it yet. I think some of these th things are yet to manifest, but they are definitely coming. I do definitely see you guys moving. Y'all, the phone went dead. I had to charge it up a little bit and then get finished with the reading. But I know exactly what I was about to say. 
on this card I was talking about. And I got you guys word. Remember I told you I forgot? Well, I went back and looked at it. It was profound. And now I see why it was profound. <laughs> so, um, but you guys are definitely moving towards karma calmer places and just better places um bigger and better um, opportunities and um different avenues for you guys to go into okay the things that you're going to the places you're going to you're going to really like i don't know if it's a literal move so maybe it is a literal move and also just a transformation that you're going to into your life also it's just going to be really good okay and um um, like I said, the word profound, like spirit's gonna, it's about to do a lot of profound things for you guys, you know, things that you just don't know, you just have not seen it yet, you know, but it's definitely coming, so spirit is telling me, like, to, um, um, be more specific with you guys, so you won't hear so much of, it's coming, uh, it's here, it's now, because it is kind of like that, that, but like I was saying, you guys, since you have kind of became addicted to, like, the struggle, which we can become sometimes, then you don't really see it, but allow me to be more specific with you guys, because, of course, you are not seeing it because you are not there yet, but... Just to reassure you guys that it's coming with this achievement card here. It's coming, okay? <laughs> like it's saying that. I'm looking at the six, the number for home and family. Your your home is going to be okay. Your children is going to be okay. Everybody's going to be all good, okay? Some of you guys just even desire to give more. And spirit is like, you're going to have more than enough. You're going to have enough to give, okay? So, with this Accept the Gift of the Universe card, this is what I'm getting here. Another six here. This is what I'm getting. I'm getting that you guys kind of have a hard time. Um, you might have some limited beliefs. And that's one thing that can stop you from accepting the gifts of the universe. Because with limited beliefs, you know, the universe cannot really work well with that type of energy. So, and I think it's all about you guys not, like I said, kind of becoming addicted to the struggle. Just knowing that you've struggled in the past, you're struggling now. So, you're going to have to continue to struggle until you see a difference. And sometimes the difference is right there. And you don't notice it because you just go straight to the struggle. You know, you just straight, you just start, like, reacting like the struggle um, you know, um, like you would act if you was in a struggle. And I want to give you guys an example because this is the first thing that I'm thinking about. Um, because this is one thing that I do. Sometimes, you know, like here, this apartment where, I at, where I'm at now versus the apartment where I was at where we could use a card. And then here is some machines. Like, I really want to be able to use some machines again because I thought it was more helpful and now it's not helpful <laughs> because i was like yeah we can always just get change off a card and you know now we have to upload like a certain amount of money like it's not just one or two dollars like you know when you have the machine you could just you know um get like one or two dollars uh, you know like as much as money as you need off and then get one or two dollars if you need it but like with the machine it had to be a certain amount of money now i'm finding out that it's it was actually better for us and we didn't know it because most of my money is on a card that's how i get paid on from my card most of the time <laughs> you know um and so now i'm having to get money off the card which is not as easy as I thought it was because I'm not used to doing that no more. And then, um, even when you get money off the card, then you got to have to go to a place that finds a place. You, you have to find a place that actually give you that many quarters, you know. So, if you guys know about that struggle. So, what I, what I mean by becoming addicted to the struggle, you just know that you have to do those things. So, you continue to do it. And you don't even look for the easier way anymore. And sometimes, you guys, like... Sometimes what happens is, like, I automatically think, like, okay, this is the week where I have to wash certain things. So, I tell my son, because um, he works beside the store, beside a store that do everything. Like, you know, do this and do that, you know, get money off the cart, dang, get this much and all that. And, um, 
Yeah, go get the door for your brother. Speaking of my son, he's at the door. <laughs> and then I don't even realize sometimes, like sometimes we have money left over, or you know, sometimes like I have gotten um, you know, sometimes we have money left over. I just have cash or something like that, and I don't even realize it because I automatically think, okay, well this is what I have to do. So that's what I'm saying. Sometimes you just get addicted to the struggle. Okay, so. Your spiritual team wants you to definitely call on them more. Call on your runners more like call on your helpers because they're there to help you and they're there to assist you. And anytime you feel like, okay, well, I don't see this see this abundance, they really want you to look at all these sixes here. Six, 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 okay? So I feel like this is a six that's vibrating more high than negative. But, um... Because I really feel like, because what I'm about to say next is going to, like I said, six is going to be for home and family. But I'm thinking that this six is really vibrating more high than um, in a negative way. So, spirit is like, whenever you are feeling like there is just not there, the abundance, the abundance is not there, just ask them. And ask them more confidently, you know. Don't just, you know, go to them with any limited beliefs as if you don't deserve it. Just know you're worthy and then ask them for the abundance or to show you where the abundance is at. It's at especially if you guys are, you know, having financial troubles. Now, with that being and said the time is now you guys you guys just have to start looking at this with um a new fresh set of eyes okay because accept the gifts of the universe this is also saying to accept it because so many gifts and abundance is coming your way like i said um a gifts and abundance is coming on your way i feel like you guys it's time for you to do it you guys have done the hard work and now it's your time look Success, abundance, you're going to have more to give, okay? More than enough to give. It's coming your way. So just accept the gifts of the universe. This is actually a very positive reading just because the Spirit is telling you guys the whole time that, yeah, we are about to do something very profound in your life, you know, because you don't really just see it yet or you don't know how big this is going to be. But it's actually it's actually here now. So just let go of the struggle eyes, okay? This is what we're going to call it the struggle eyes. And start seeing the gifts of the universe and the prosperity, prosperity that the universe has given you. And, like I said, to be more specific, like Spirit told me to do, you are going to be able to actually see this, okay? This is brand new. Your new beginning is is here, is now, but it's brand new. So, no, you really don't just see a lot of changes, but you will, okay? Hold on soon, okay? So, like I said, this number is vibrating high. So, look for a lot of, um, you start seeing a lot of sixes. I know you're seeing sevens, and it, it's an indication that for you guys, I feel like it's saying that you are, um, more luckier than you think and that you guys actually have the Midas touch, you know, just call on your helpers and you guys can have all these things, okay? And like anything that you touch, because it's literally your time and your season, can and will turn to gold. Look at that. <laughs> like I was saying at the beginning. Wow, and I'm just not noticing that. So just know that you guys in sixes can mean that um that your financial that you're about to come into some financial abundance that you're that a lot of your material things um are being taken care of, especially when it has to do with home and family. Um, like um, sevens can mean abundance, eights definitely can mean financial abundance, money abundance if you start to see eights, so know that. But six is more of just saying material things. A lot of your material things will be taken care of. And this, if that's what you guys want, something materially, if it comes to just better clothes, you know, hair, you know, like, I'm saying hair, but I feel like some of you guys are really have been saying, I want my hair different. Because I was saying that, and I did, I got my hair different. But some of you guys are like, you know, but that costs money. Okay, Spirit is like, okay, we see that. We're just going to give you, we're going to bless you with some of those material things. So if you're seeing like 666 or a lot of sixes, you know, well, you guys, hey, don't look at it, at it in a religious way. And don't think of it 
in um and because it can mean something crazy when it is um vibrating low because a lot of illuminati your numbers you know they use the sixes and everything but when it's vibrating high when it's under a high frequency then it does mean that a lot of your fine not financial but material things will be taken care of and it is a number for abundance okay so um i think in like chinese numbers it does mean financial success or something like that but that's all you guys let me know let me know down in the comment section